Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So whenever you try to launch any EA games from EA app or Steam and if you're receiving this, uh, we have noticed your computer is currently offline, sign in with EA account. Now, to fix it, the first step is to sign in with EA account when you receive offline error. Now, when you, before this offline error, you will see this pop-up which says sign in with your EA account. So over here, you can enter your EA email address and password and then click on sign in. Once you click on sign in, you will see this error. That is, we have noticed your computer is offline. Now you have to click on OK and then you have to relaunch the game. So sign in, click on OK on the error and then relaunch the game. That should fix it. In my case, this has worked many times, so it might work for you. So you can try it. Try to relaunch the game. Now, still not working, delete all the files in license folder. Now for this, you can open file explorer, go to this PC open C drive, now open program data. If you don't see program data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open program data. Now over here, find electronic art EA services license. Now here you can see all these files. You can just make a right click and then you can delete this or you can completely delete this license file folder, make a right click and delete it and then relaunch the game and then you can check if that does not work the next step is to delete temporary files now for this type in run in windows search box and then click on run now type in temp temp and then click on ok click on continue select everything control a shift delete and then now this time again type in run and then in the run box you can type in percentage temp percentage Click on OK, select everything, Control A, Shift, Delete, click on Continue, and then now relaunch the game and then check. Yep, you can even relaunch, you can exit and relaunch EA app and if you have the game on Steam, relaunch Steam and then you can launch the game. Next step is to repair or verify the game files. Now to repair or verify the game files, if you have the game on EA app, you can go to library, select the game which is giving you the error message, click on manage and then click on repair. If you have the game on Steam, then make a right click on the EA game and then go to properties, go to install files tab, click on verify integrity game files. Once the verification is complete, now launch the game. Next step is to re repair EA app. To repair EA app, uh, you can go to EA website. Go to EA website and download this, download the EA app, click on it, click on Windows. Now click on the EXC file. Now click on repair option over here. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, it will relaunch EA app and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, then the next step is to perform EA app recovery. Now for this, you can type in EA app in Windows search box. Uh, it is repairing right now, so let the repair complete. Now you can type in EA app over here and then make a right click on EA app and then click on open file location and here you can see app recovery make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then click click on clear cache and then once EA app is open now you can check still not working the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator Click on yes to allow, copy the first command, copy all these commands one by one, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now run the second command, paste it, hit the enter key, run the third command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now once, once done, now close this, restart. And after the system restart, you can launch EA app or Steam and then launch the game. Next step is to perform power cycle. To perform power cycle, first of all, shut down your computer. Now, after you shut down your computer, unplug the power cable from the computer, and then 
just wait for one to two minutes and then turn off your Wi-Fi router and then wait for a few seconds and then restart your Wi-Fi router, plugging the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then launch it. Next step is to turn off or turn on VPN. So if you're using VPN, turn it off, then launch the game. If you're not using, you can turn on the VPN and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.